Riley Winpride woke up smiling because today was the day she would ride her new bicycle. She started her morning yoga, with downward dog, of course. She imagined riding her new bicycle over Apple Creek Bridge, the tires making that wonderful kathunk, kathunk, kathunk sound on the wooden planks. Riley felt very relaxed as she moved into triangle pose. She was happy and carefree. Then she farted. It startled her, and the bicycle ride disappeared with a pop. No one was around to hear the fart. She was happy about that, too. Riley scampered out the kitchen door to see her bicycle parked in front of the big purple barn, just like Farmer Pride had promised. She tilted her head to one side and stared. What a beautiful bicycle. It was a shimmering metallic green, and the silver seat sparkled with flecks of pink and blue. The streamers on the handlebars danced in the gentle breeze, and they made a peaceful sound while they fluttered. Nice bike, said a scratchy voice. Riley jumped, and her feet tried to go in four different directions at once. She was very glad that she didn't fart again. Oh, hi, Tony, said Riley. I like your outfit. Tony was wearing a pork pie hat, a lobster bib, and a fake handlebar mustache. He liked rummaging through the boxes, bureaus, and bins in the big purple barn and showing off his discoveries. Riley tightened the strap to her bike helmet. I'm going to ride my new bicycle around Pride's Vineyard, she said. We are going to have a blast, cackled Tony as he darted into the barn. We? Riley had been dreaming of this bike ride for a long, long time. Not once had the dream included a barn cat wearing a pork pie hat, a lobster bib, and a fake mustache. Not once. A door squeaked open in the barn, and there was a sound like 23 hubcaps falling into a crate of milk bottles. Out came Tony and his scooter. I made it myself, said Tony, his paper lobster bib ruffled in the breeze. Um, okay, said Riley. I was going to ride out to the willow tree at the pond, then through the west vineyard over to... Ravine! shouted Tony. He started running alongside his scooter, and the kickstand fell off when he jumped aboard. Where is your helmet? shouted Riley. Tony's scooter wobbled, veered, and disappeared into the pine trees. There was a loud crash. Then... There was another crash. And another. Tony? shouted Riley Winpride. Riley raced faster than she ever thought possible. She reached the edge of the ravine and slammed on the brakes when she saw Tony's scooter near the birch tree. Then Riley saw Tony's scooter near the wild raspberries. All down the ravine, Riley saw Tony's scooter. Then, Riley saw Tony. Riley raced down the hill, dodging handle grips, wheels, and fenders. She jumped off of her beautiful new bike and let it fall into the ferns. Tony's eyes fluttered open, and Riley suddenly felt happier than she had ever felt. Ouch, said Tony softly as he patted the cut over his eye with a paw. I, uh, I thought cats always landed on their feet. I'm sorry about your mustache, said Riley as they watched it float down Apple Creek. That's okay, said Tony. I found the shoebox full of them in the barn. 
Let's go back to the barn and find a helmet," said Riley. "What about your bike?" asked Tony. Riley had forgotten all about it. "What about your scooter?" she asked. Tony looked up and down the ravine and straightened his lobster bib. <laughs> "I can fix that," he said. "You're a silly cat," said Riley, and the two friends walked back to the big purple barn to look for a helmet.